हाँ जी म्यूट पे तो नहीं है शायद अभी कोई भी नहीं है
Uh, hello everyone, can you hear me? Hi Sanjeev, uh, can you hear me? Please confirm. Great Pushkar, thanks for your confirmation. Uh, okay, great, nice to hear know that okay uh, guys we are we will wait for five more minutes for others to join in after five minutes we will start the session okay okay thank you so much pushka for your quick response
hello i think we can uh, start with the introduction of you guys uh, pushka would be great if you can type in your about yourself like what you do and what you are into and why you want to pursue this course and similarly sanjeev you can also uh, let me know what you are into and why you want to pursue this course just a small brief about yourself then i'll start uh, about like i'll give the introduction about me <laughs> okay great pushka okay uh, what's the reason behind your interest for this course you want to make your career in this course okay great uh, so what are you doing currently pushka you're through with your graduation are you like into studies or you're working somewhere or looking for job okay you have applied for law okay great 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 thank you so much pushka for your introduction and uh, sanjeev would be great if you can also let me know about yourself uh sanjeev can you hear me are you with us Anil, one more uh, participant has joined in. Anil, can you hear me? Anil, can you hear me? Please type in in the chat window if you can hear me. Oh, hi, Sanjeev. okay please let me know about yourself i just need a brief introduction about you and uh, please let me know why you want to pursue this course okay great Uh, Sanjeev, can you please uh, type in here about yourself? And uh, I can see Anil and Shivam also. Hi, Anil and hi, Shivam. Thank you for joining in. Please uh, type in about yourself, like what you do and why you want to pursue this course. Please give me the confirmation that you can hear me properly. great great sanjeev good to know that thank you shivam thanks for your confirmation can you please okay good so you know seo and what else you want to learn okay great shivam uh, shivam what are you doing right now what are you into are you studying or are you working somewhere okay uh sanjeev i would like to tell you like uh, we we'll be you know uh, covering basics in this course like this in this course we'll be doing seo at basic level and uh, 
currently okay great great shivam for advanced if you want to learn advanced seo then for that we we have a different course yes Yes, yes, Shivam, I will start with basics only because this is digital marketing course where we will be covering everything like PPC, SEO, social media marketing, affiliate display marketing. So we will be doing, we will start with basics only. Yeah, uh, that was for Sanjeev, what I said, that was for Sanjeev. Okay, Anil, uh, I can see you there online. Can you please respond whether you can hear me or not? Uh, Shivam, uh, may I know from where are you? Like, are you from uh, Bangalore, Hyderabad, Delhi, Gurgaon, and uh, Sanjeev? I know you're from Bangalore. Great. And Pushkar, please, uh, you also let me know from uh, where you are. Okay, you are from Kanpur. Great, Shivam. Thank you. Pushkar, you can also let me know where you okay you are from Aligarh great great thank you so we are based out of Delhi Delhi NCR uh, I cannot see Anil Anil please type in whether you can hear me or not Uh, so guys, uh, this is I'm uh, myself Preeti Bhatla and I'm into digital marketing from past seven years and I've been working in the corporate uh, where I have handled uh, many uh, big clients and work, uh, for them I have worked on Google AdWords, I have worked for, uh, for them on SEO techniques and made their websites rank on top at number one and i've also worked on social media marketing affiliate marketing adsense display marketing and many uh, clients i have handled and uh, now i'm into training and i've been imparting training for past two years now and trained more than 100 students okay anil you have raised your hand let me see Please type in in the chat window, Anil. If you can see the chat, can you please type in there? Okay, hi Anil, so you can hear me, great. So you can type in your brief uh, introduction and let me know why you want to pursue this course. Okay. Okay, great. Thank you, Anil, for your introduction. So I was just briefing them about. Okay, Sanjeev. Good to know that you have 300 websites, okay, or even more than that. Okay, Anil, you're from Bombay, great. Yeah, that might be, uh, might happen because uh, Google, you know, keep updating the algorithms. Yes.
okay uh, we will take that so let me just start today is the, the first class like first demo session where i'll be just telling what uh, what's this uh, dmp about and what will be there in the course that we are going to cover in our sessions okay so coming back here on dmp so yeah this uh, dmp okay great uh, fi uh, we, this is uh, this company was founded in 2012 uh, by Nick Bartler. He's the co-founder of this company, and uh, he's been uh, imparting training in Google GoDaddy, and we are associated with Google directly. As you know that we offer this course for 7500 because um, we are associated with Google and Google gives us the subscription for that. Okay. So moving ahead. Sorry. So firstly, I'll just tell you what all we are going to cover what all we are going to cover in this course. In case you guys have any query, any doubt, you can stop me in between and let me know. See, we have divided our course in three segments broadly. Segment one, where we tell you about website designing and development. Okay. Because see, whenever uh, someone wants to start an online business for that, they need to have an online presence, which you can have by having a website online. Okay. So for that you need for your website, you need domain and secondly you need the hosting domain is the name of your website if you know uh, you can see the i uh, the name like every website has a unique name associated with it that is the address of your website that is also called the address of your website whereas hosting is the space on the website Okay, so in the web world, you need to have a space to create your own website. Okay, so we are going to tell you about all that and how you can design the website. There are many content management systems. So there are many tools which are available. Earlier, what used to happen is whenever you need to create a website, you need to know the, you have to know the coding for that. Like HTML, PHP, Java, Right. These are the languages on which you can create the website. But now these days, many tools or websites are available. Like we are called, we call them as content management system, which help them like CMS helps them to create a website without any coding. So you might have heard the word called WordPress. Have you guys know about WordPress? Have you heard this earlier about WordPress? Yeah, I'm sure Sanjeev, you might be aware. There are many other uh, content management systems available like Magento, Zoomla, okay, and OpenCart. Many other are available, but WordPress is more renowned and many people are, you know, working on WordPress. Many big websites are built these days on WordPress. So that is the reason we are going to take WordPress. Okay, Shivam, so I'm going to tell you, yeah. So we are going to teach you how you can create a website on WordPress. Okay. So that is one thing that we are, uh, will be doing WordPress. Okay. So we will tell you how you can buy the domain using uh, GoDaddy. You might have heard GoDaddy and there are many other websites where you can buy the domain your hosting for hosting hostgator is the best one yeah or the big big rock is also a good one these days 
or you can uh, for hosting like for buying space you can go for hostgator even godaddy provides the hosting but hostgator is more renowned one and their services let's say if your website is not working it's down then hostgator provides the best backup plans okay so we are going to cover that wordpress for okay yes sanji in case you guys have any query any doubt then please stop me in between okay you can write in your question in the chat chat box okay so moving ahead wordpress like uh, we are going to create or design a word website using wordpress there are many free templates which are offered by wordpress but uh, we we will not going to use them because we have got many paid templates many paid themes which we are going to provide to our students who who is going to you know sign up with us we are going to provide them a paid wordpress theme which they can use to create their own website okay so we are going to provide you this domain name free for one year okay and even hosting for one year hosting space free for one year to our students so that they can create the website and practice for wordpress we are going to give the subscription like um, sorry the theme free theme free a paid theme actually paid theme so this will have many functionalities you know there are free templates are also available but that doesn't have many functionalities which will help you to create your website okay so this is one thing our first segment includes the website designing and development okay so now second segment includes website promotion once our site is created so when you know in offline world also when you work in offline world there is uh, you know there are many for uh, to start any new business whether you are going to sell a product or services for that you need to have a shop or office or any other premise where you can, from where you can start the business you know similarly for online business you need to have a shop or any office space where from where you can operate so that is website for online work website plays that role our shop our office will be our website okay so that is one example once our website is created or we have a web presence okay, then we will need, we need to promote like we need to make our target audience aware that now we are there in the market we sell this product or either services but okay uh, who raised the hand just to say guys someone raised the hand please type in in the chat window in case you have any query there is a person by the name of admin please type in your name and if you have any query then please type in in the chat window okay guys so okay abhiram okay great so you can type in your chat uh, like about yourself why you want to pursue this course we will take that later on okay in okay great so yeah so we were on a website promotion so once our web online presence is there we need to promote like we need to uh, make our target audience aware that we are here we exist and we are here to help our you know uh, the people from for whom we have created the product or services for that we need to take some actions like how we need how we can promote firstly it's search engine marketing okay so
search engine marketing hope you know what search engine is what is search engine anyone can you please respond on the chat window who knows what search engine is like google exactly google is the search engine because wherever we do any search any query we look for any information any answer you know that is google one is google then we have bing then we have ask.com we have yahoo many search engines are there but the google is the one which is used maximum like more than 80% people use google for search okay 80 more than 80% google then yahoo sorry bing bing is on the second number sanji okay yes next is bing exactly okay so i'll just tell you so this is google this is our search engine right where we can search for information i hope you can see my screen can you see google guys okay great so in search engine marketing we have one is ppc which is also called pay per click ads this is also called google adwords okay these these are also called paid ads okay have you guys seen ads on google when you search for information like i just put a query here by iphone 7 okay this is my search query here you can see the results this is called search engine result page which is serp okay serp this is called search engine result page because this is showing me the results of my query okay this is my search query this phrase is also called keyword when you start working for this like if you are working as a search engine optimizer or you are work creating the google campaigns then it will be a keyword for you okay but the person who is looking for the information for them it's a search query or phrase but the person who is actually working for this keyword this word or phrase for them it is called keyword hope i make i'm making some sense in case you have any query then please type in so let's say this is iphone 7 and i have searched for this information here i can see the uh, uh, shopping ad can you see this sponsored word and i cannot see the text ad here okay this is these are the text ads can you see this ad ad text here yes so yeah these are the text ads and the the list with price and the image this these are called product listing ads i just type in here p l a which is product listing ads okay the, this is product listing ad where why these are called product listing ads the other name which is given to this is shopping ad because you can see the price attached to it and the image attached to it okay these are called shopping ads and product listing ads whereas the where there is no image and attached to it the they are called text stands these are called text stands clear and how they are different from these listings these listings are called 
SEO. These listings are coming from search engine optimization. Search engine optimization where no ad button or ad text is written. It is coming from organic activities, organic listing. So the next is search engine optimization. That is SEO. They are also called organic. They are called pay unpaid. They are also called free listings. Okay, because for this we are not paying any amount to Google. They are coming from the activities that we are either performing on our website or off our website. Okay, for this we are not paying any amount to Google. That is the reason they are called organic, unpaid, free listing and one more word is given to that is natural. Natural listings. Okay, where in PPC I told you about PLA which is product listing ads. And they are also called shopping ads. Secondly, we have text ads. Okay. Any doubt guys still here? Please type in in the chat window in case you have any query. Great Shivam, thanks for your response. So what we are going to cover in website promotion is one is search engine marketing. Okay, in search engine marketing, we have PPC which is pay per click ads, Google AdWords, because these ads are created using Google AdWords. You might be aware about the Google tools like or Google partner like Google business, Gmail, right? There are many other Google translate, Google language, Google places, Google business. Similarly, we have Google AdWords to create ads. Okay, so that's the reason they are called Google AdWords. They are also called paid ads. In this, we have two type of ads. One is the shopping ad, which is also called PLA ad, product listing ad, and the next is the text ad, okay? As I have shown you here. So here, ad text is written. That means it is paid ad. For this, we are paying amount to Google, okay? For SEO, should we not pay to Google? No. For SEO, you are not paying anything to Google you are performing activities for through which your uh, website will rank on google page one okay for paid ads you need to pay to google not for seo okay clear abhiram is it clear For that, each click should be paid. Yes, you pay for each click that you will get. For AdWords, for PPC, which is also called pay per click. Yes. Not for SEO, only for paid ads, like for this shopping ad, you pay to Google as it is written sponsored word, which is which means it is sponsored okay and you paying something to google and then you have an add button here add text written here which means you're paying the amount to google to come on google page is it clear abhiram okay great thank you so this is the difference between ppc and seo right hope you guys are clear about the difference what is seo and what is google adword or ppc which is pay per click ads yes great sanjeev thank you for your response i believe everyone else is also clear would be great if you can type in here 
everyone if you are with me please type in thank you san uh, shivam thank you pushkar okay moving ahead so we are going to cover search engine optimization which is organic listing and paid free listing natural so so we will tell you what all activities that you need to perform to rank your website for this for seo we are going to do on page and off page okay so these two are the part of seo which we are going to cover when we will come on seo okay thank you next thank you pushkar for your response now our uh, one is ppc then the search engine optimization this is all search engine marketing because this works on search engine this is google this is the search engine all, all right now next we have is display marketing display partner marketing just to check display anyone who knows what display ad is display ad anyone who knows what display ad is no okay okay so okay okay no not a problem i'll just tell you what display ad is so uh, one any ad which comes on a uh, google which is search engine that is called search engine ad when we open let's say i'll open ndtv.com this is another website okay any ad which comes on another website that is ad or we also call that banner ad you can open ndtv.com times now.com or timesofindia.com so you can see this advertisement this banner ad is coming here this is display ad this golden ticket ad is coming here this is display ad because it's not coming on search engine it's coming on any other website is it clear you is it clear now yes uh, yes sanjeev it is similar to adsense because to get the ads on your website you need to register on adsense google adsense only then the ads will come and display on your website okay these are called display ads okay great so you are making money out of it sanjay <laughs> okay good to know that so yeah this is called display partner network because this is complete display partner network okay i will come to that uh, abhiram uh, we, i will tell you how you can make money out of it i'll be uh, teaching you that in my classes yes so this is display partner network because see there how many parties are involved one is publisher second we have the advertiser there then we have the agent agency so and we have visitor so four parties yes everyone uh, wants to learn that because everyone wants to make a money and it's the best form available nowadays <clears throat> okay so yeah i uh, this is part display partner network where we have four parties involved one is the publisher 
second is the advertiser third is the agency and then the visitor who will tell me who is the publisher in this case so let's say this is the ndtv.com and here you can see the ads running who is the publisher here yes sanjeev you are right ndtv is the publisher because they have the they have their own website where they want to run the uh, where they want to run the ads no no uh, shivam and no to yes ndtv is the publisher because they have the space on their website and they want to make money because if you know in offline world if you see the newspaper newspaper like times of india is the publisher and any person who wants to run a ad there or wants to print a ad on the newspaper that person is the advertiser and times of india the newspaper is the publisher hope now it makes sense shivam and abhiram is it clear yes okay great great thank you so here NDTV is the publisher. Sorry. And who is the advertiser? Big Basket is the advertiser here. Clear because they are running the ad. And who is the agency? Google is the agency because Google is the mediator here. How I'm going to tell you that now. And visitor, we are the people who visits. the website okay the users ndtv because ndtv it may be uh, no for this network we have google only i'll just tell you when you have a website and you want to make a money out of it then google has a platform which is google adsense you just go on to google adsense and then register your website on google okay and what advertiser will do uh, next please write in the chat window in case you have any query advertiser will go on google adwords to create the ad okay so google is the common here clear okay great so if in case you will in future have a website and there are some conditions that you need to meet before go, uh, registering on to adsense that we will be covering later on and once you when met that condition then you can register on google adsense after which people can come and run the web uh, their ads on your website by creating ads by on going to google adwords which we are going to cover this in detail the complete display partner network how it works how you can register on google adsense then create google adwords how you can create display ads on google adwords okay hope it is clear now please reply everyone in case you have any doubt any query please type in in the chat window if query will not come i'll assume that it's all clear okay great so uh now the difference between search engine marketing and display marketing is clear right search engine marketing is the form of marketing on search engine right whereas display is running ads on any other website so if i'll show you the example here this is dm patshala our own website
Okay, can you see this at KPMG Six Sigma certification? This is the ad which is coming. Our website, we have registered this website on Google AdSense and now we have got this ad. Okay, this ad is running on our website. <laughs> yeah, Sanjeev, we are on the same page actually. <laughs> Okay, so the next uh, ad which is coming here, which is business analysis training online program placements. So this is how it going to work. Okay, which we are going to cover in our sessions. Yes, it will keep changing. Uh, Abhiram, it will keep changing. Okay, so uh, this is in website promotion. We have search engine marketing display and then we'll have email marketing. We are also going to cover email marketing. Hope you guys must have heard about email marketing and you might be receiving a lot of emails from so many companies, so many uh, like you know uh, from apparels like Jabong, Amazon, Flipkart, wherever you have shopped you might be receiving a lot of emails from them okay so the, that is called email marketing it is the most cheapest form of online marketing and uh, the result is very good result is also very good for this we are going to do the MailChimp MailChimp is one tool which is available to send mass emailing. Okay. And where you can also get to know how many people have, how many emails you have sent, how many people have actually opened it, how many people have actually read it, the time they have spent on each email that is sent by you. So you will get all that statistics. Okay, so we are going to cover email marketing. So if I tell you, let's say, I'll just take a brief example here. For that, you will just pay uh, to MailChimp because you need to register or buy a plan. Okay. So let's say here, if you, uh, let, I'll just take an example. Let's say you have the contacts of 5,000 people and you send an email to these 5,000 people, email sent. Okay. Then out of this 5,000 people, only 100 people will open it. Okay. Only 100 will open your email. Okay. Out of which 50 will spend some time, will spend some time. Okay, and 25 will come, 25 will visit your website, okay, or your landing page, okay, and let's say only five people, minimum, I'm taking minimum, five people will purchase, will make a purchase. Okay, they can be 10, they can be 20, 25, can make a purchase. I'm just taking a minimum. Five people will make a purchase with whatever you are offering, whether it's a product or any other, so any service that you are offering. Five people will purchase. Then you can see the cost that you have spent. You have spent very minimum amount for sending to reach 5,000 people and if you get five purchases also now, then also it is profitable. Then also it is profitable. You're making profit out of it. So this is, is this is the cheapest form of marketing. Email marketing is the cheapest form. The second number is the search in SEO. SEO is all at the second number. 
okay any doubt guys so mailchimp is one tool will there be a single mail to a particular mail suppose when you purchase something we get a very quick mail about the confirmation will there be a single mail to a particular mail i didn't understand your question abhiram uh suppose we purchase something we get very quick mail about the confirmation yes so when yeah when you know that email will not be count because that is coming after your purchase the emails that come in your out in your inbox to make a purchase where they are you know pushing you to buy something from them where they are telling you that we are offering this 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 thing or we are on sale we are offering 20% discount yes yes but like only ads which are coming in your inbox in your email okay great great thank you uh then we have youtube marketing oh uh, the other i believe what is abhiram is talking about that is by service provider yes the service provider or the person itself what he is no he has he is talking about any purchase they are making and after that we get a confirmation order confirmation that this purchase you have made but that is not a part of our promotion that mail is not part of our promotion that's what i got yeah it's just the confirmation any promotional email that we are getting that is marketing yes okay is it clear yes like from flipkart from amazon snap deal jabong many many people does that and many technological companies also do that or educational companies also do that okay yeah okay yeah sanchi thank you thank you abhiram uh, so uh, next is youtube marketing so i hope everyone is aware about youtube it's a product by google where we see video ads videos right on different information that is also a kind of search engine but it's a video search engine right so i tell you in on youtube how you can make your own channel right how people are making money so let's say this is one of our channel which is digital marketing part chala so here we are going to tell you about how you can have your own channel how you can promote or monetize from digital yes we do have one digital marketing part uh, channel and this is one of our channel you might be aware about many other people who are creating their own videos like bb wine if you guys have heard anyone who have heard about bb wines yes yes my all of you okay abhiram yeah then there is one person who is making many they're creating videos and making good amount of money okay so these are our videos okay and which you can open so one ad will run so you can see this ad is running okay so from here you can make money right so we will tell you how you can create your videos how you can monetize through that videos how you can promote your videos like you can do seo also of your videos 
Yes, please, Sanjeev, go ahead. Yes. You're talking about how you are getting money, like the how uh, the amount that you're going to earn out of it. Okay, that uh, that will depend on the ad which is running and how people are viewing the, the ads actually. You know, there are, there are two type of ad. One is capable ad and one is normal ad which you need to view it, yes. Yes, that is not open by Google actually. Yeah. Even uh, if a video is running, uh, the very minimal amount, you know, comes into your account because there is the formula like if people see the ad for eight more than, you know, eight seconds or 10 seconds, then only you will be paid for that. Okay. But if someone skips the video immediately, then you will not be paid for that. Okay, okay. Yeah, I'm going to cover all that in detail when we do the YouTube marketing, how you can actually do a good things to earn money on YouTube. All good practices actually, which will make you money. Yes. Yes. Okay. Moving ahead. Oh, okay. Yeah. So uh, then the next is the YouTube marketing. As I told you, you can have your own videos and where you can increase the viewership. You can promote your videos and earn or monetize through that videos. Many people are earning good amount of money. Okay. Then the next is, sorry, here it is. The one. Next is mobile marketing, where we will tell, Yeah, we know about Summit. Okay. Then we have mobile marketing where we are going to cover how you can create ads in the hope you have seen the ads which comes in the applications, right? Between the apps. Okay, when you uh, if you're playing any game or doing any, you know, watching any other app where you see the lot of ads coming in between. So we will tell you how you can create those ads. Okay. This is uh, the part of our website promotion. Okay, sorry, I think on third number, we will have social media marketing, which I have just kept. Hope you guys are aware about what social media is. Yes, great. So who will tell me social media websites like Facebook, great. Facebook is one. We have LinkedIn. We have Twitter. We have Pinterest. We have Instagram. Many other, right? These are the uh, websites on where people, which is used widely, okay, for uh, creating awareness about your brand, about your product. And you can also run ads on Facebook, LinkedIn, Pinterest, Instagram. Yes, on all these social media websites, you can run ads also, and you can create your business pages where you can just you know, make people aware. So we, we, we are going to cover all these in detail. 
okay how you can create a page on facebook how you can create a uh, business page on linkedin or how you can create ads and run ads for your target audience okay on social media platform so this also plays very vital role in promoting your product or your website or any services which are which are offered by you guys okay so this this is the part of our website promotion online promotion these are the ways that we are going to use now our segment 3 is about how you earn money how to earn money so once you know all these activities which you are going to perform which we are going to tell you in segment 2 then in segment 3 we are going to tell you how you can earn money that is through adsense which i have already talked about google adsense where you can have your own website and register that website where people or advertisers will come and run the ads on your website like ndtv is doing like we are doing in the mp the second is affiliate marketing have you guys heard about affiliate marketing Have you guys ever heard about? Okay, no. Okay, Sanjeev, no. Sanjeev, please tell me what affiliate marketing is. Okay, Shivam also knows a bit. Please, other participants also who are there with us, please participate here and let us know. Okay, yeah. Okay, so you are affiliate with. flipkart and amazon and you are promoting their product and selling their product and earning commission out of it okay yeah okay yes so i'll just tell you first how it happens in offline world okay have you guys know about amway amway have you guys heard about amway i'll just tell you in offline world i'm talking about amway then there is one oriflame avon these are the companies who performs from home like they have many distributors right amway you might yes yes they are selling products let's say amway has contacted me or amway distributor has contacted me to become their further distributor and uh, sell their products to other people okay so what they are going to give me is the commission whatever product i am going to sell i will get commission out of it okay yeah so this happens usually it happens sanjeev you are right here at airport they said me about this yes so you will make money out of it if you sell their product you they will give you a commission okay similarly oriflame does the same thing they will tell you please sell their products if you sell their products you will get certain amount of commission out of it okay this is happening in offline world similarly on in online world also like amazon amazon is one big company who is doing the same thing they are making affiliates and affiliates are promoting their products and selling their product once they sell the product any product which is sold through the affiliate affiliate will get the commission out of it it is commission based okay it is commission based so if i'll just show you trivago what trivago is doing yes amazon will get amazon will give you commission because you are selling if you are selling amazon product okay they will get give you the commission out of it 
So this is Trivago. Let's say I'll try type in here holiday in Delhi. Okay. I'll just type in the dates. <clears throat> Okay, Trivago does not have their own platform to book a hotel. Right, single room, double room. Okay, what I am. It's not. I don't know what happened. Okay. So, uh, just a sec, it's not updating. So basically what I'm, uh, I want to tell you here is Trivago is, doesn't have any platform where you can buy. So if you select any like hotel.info, booking.com, make my trip. So it's showing you the prices of all these for all, all other websites. Okay. They are making your work easier, basically. And when you click here on there, uh, like for which you want to book a room, you will land on their website. Like if I, if I click booking.com, I will land on their website and I will book there. And Trivago will get commission out of it. Right? Is it clear, guys? Affiliate marketing. Yeah. From booking.com. No, booking.com will be paid. Okay. Yeah, you're right. Booking.com will be paid by the client and booking.com will give commission to Trivago. Yes, please, Sanjeev, go ahead for your question. There are many other uh, such websites does exist where they show the products of from uh, let's say i'll just show you yes it is a big success nowadays because people don't don't have to you know spend much or invest a lot of money in the you know products or services they just need to have a platform and they just need to promote that Let's say I just create a website and uh, have products from Amazon, eBay, Flipkart, Snapdeal. I can show all the products on my website. And whenever a person clicks on that, uh, on any product, they will land on the Amazon website. Here, I don't need to invest on the product. I don't need to invest on the, um, what do you call, the inventory. I don't need to invest on the inventory kind of things. Except few, I know they are cues like Big Rock, Coupon dot in yeah, Coupon Dunya dot com. There are many. Yes. Then how do we listen the others other person's query? And they are just typing in here. Uh, Abhiram, they are just typing in. You can just see their queries. Can you see their query here? They have just typed in. Okay, you can't see. I think it's they're typing to all parties panelists. They need to oh please change to everyone. I think you guys are typing into all panelists. That's why yeah, I can't, even I can't see. Okay, okay. There is a problem. Okay, I'll just uh, repeat their question. They have a question like uh, affiliate is success nowadays. They mean uh, they're, they're, that is a big success, which is true. Yes, it is a success. And they're talking about bigrockcoupon.in. Coupon.in, that is one example of affiliate marketing. Then we have uh, coupondunya.com also. They are making good amount of money. They all are making good amount of money. Okay, you know the few staff and you might have communicated with them, Sanjeev. Yes. 
ओके ओके so yeah that depends even in uh, you know online world also people are make there are many other websites who are making good amount of money and there are other people also are not doing good in online business whereas they they are doing in offline business so you can't really compare you know it will really depend okay at sense yeah it's more easier so in affiliate marketing i will tell you how you can register and how you can uh, be registered with these uh, websites and earn as affiliate marketing market you yes but rules are very strict if you don't follow rules by google then your website will be banned sanjeev yes you're right thirdly we will tell you how you can work how you can work as a freelancer you guys can work as a freelancer by sitting at home you can help many other people or your clients in seo or run the google adwords for for them doing social media marketing freelancer is working for anyone you're not associated with any one particular company here abhiram you can work for n, n number of clients there are websites like upwork where i will tell you how you can register on upwork.com where people are make working as a freelancer and making a good amount of money money yes because for that google needs to you know have a trust whether that is all genuine or not sanjeev okay uh, abhiram i hope this is clear then we have uh, apart from upwork we have elance we have guru we have freelancer many other uh, websites for but the number one is the upwork and the, it's more most reliable and people are really making good amount of money by working on upwork upwork yes it's like you can sit at home and work from your home you are here you will not be associated with any organization there are number of clients you can bid for those clients and earn the project and work by sitting at home and at one point in time you can work for many clients okay so so here you can create your own profile and you can find the clients you can find the work so this is the amount because i have uh, worked very you know like 3 4 years back and so total i have suppose we are the business how we post for jobs yes you can post for jobs also uh for that you need to create a profile as a uh you know uh, business 
not as a freelancer because uh, this is my profile which i have created as a freelancer and you can create your profile as a business or as a client where you can look for freelancers yes so let's say i want to find work i want to find work for seo seo so it will show me the seo related projects so you can see these seo related projects okay and you can bid for these projects which we will cover in these sessions later where i can where i will tell you how you can create a profile on upwork elance has big projects and similarly guru and freelancer but the upwork is the most reliable one right so we will also sorry i have not mentioned google analytics is also going to be part of this where we will tell you how you can see the analytics you can see return on investment return on your investment you can calculate the roi that is also part of our course so the this is our course which where we we are going to cover the segment one which is website designing and the development then segment two where we are going to cover the website promotion and these are the part of our website promotion things search engine marketing has google adwords so seo then we have display partner network social media marketing youtube marketing email marketing mobile marketing and at the end we will tell you how you will analyze uh, the campaign that you have run how much mobile marketing is the ads that we are going to tell you how you can crea create ads on the applications like when you run any app you get to see the ad which is running so we will tell you how you are going to create the ad there how you can do promotion activities on a mobile okay is google analytics do we know the traffic in our website yes google analytics will let you know how much traffic you are getting on your website okay and for how long they are staying on your website number of sessions you are getting number of views you are getting everything okay mj thank you uh so uh, yes yes every details every details i will show you the complete panel also the google analytics okay uh so this is about our course which we are going to do in digital marketing in case you guys have any query please let me know so i'll just tell you now lastly what we are going to give you for this course see right now this course is for rupees 7500 okay this is for two days actually we are uh, for this batch but for next batch we are going to have this course is we are increasing this fees to rupees 9500 okay this course this a uh, batch sorry adwords adwords uh, what do you mean by uh, i didn't understand your question mj adwords be is basically used to create ads actually we uh, we have already increased the price to 9500 how google uh, has given a platform which is which helps you to create ads which i'm going to cover 
the complete panel in my session i'll tell you how you can create ads on google adwords yes that is i'm going to tell you is it clear mj yeah but for you guys abhiram it is for 7500 we are uh, you know going to increase this to 9500 we have already increased it but as we have spoken to you earlier so that is the reason it is 7500 that we are offering to you guys yes sinisha has already told you for 9500 but now uh, we have we'll be giving you for 7500 if uh, you register for this within two days okay like if you going to start your session from monday for 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 the next batch we are going to keep for 9500 for how many days this course is for let's uh, we we uh, we are going to cover this course in in a month it's a 20 approximate approximate 20 hours course okay and uh, here we are going to have a uh, classes on every classes on monday friday oh, sorry monday wednesday and friday okay if uh start from monday you will give it for 7500 yes that's true abhiram you're right can i join this course after may after may you need to pay 9500 shivam you can join in after that timing will remain same yes timing will remain same off page on page seo yes that is a part of our course and as i uh, as i have written above on page and off page that is the part of seo which i'm going to cover when we do seo when we talk about seo in our class i'll tell you what on pages and i'll tell you what off pages on page any activity that we perform on website that is on page and any activity that we are going to do off site like not doing on our website off site that is off page this is also called link building okay so which we are going to cover later on then will it be 12 classes the whole month yes yes abhiram there will be 10 12 classes whole month and uh, i'll just tell you what you're going to get as i've already uh, written above you're going to get one website domain free one website domain free for one year hosting free for one year okay and then one paid theme wordpress theme what is hosting the space Uh, for advanced classes i will check internally then i'll let you know sanji whether it will be taken by me or any other trainer can you explain roi yes sure i can explain roi is return on investment right so whenever you invest any amount on any particular thing you need to check what return you are going to get let's say you're going to run a campaign for 10 000, for 1000 right you have run a campaign for 1000 and if you make a profit and like you have earned 2000 rupees okay so this is your return on investment basically you have invested 1000 1000 uh, rupees but you have got 2000 rupees this is return on investment is it clear pushka next class is, will be on monday this monday same time 8 30. okay is there any advanced classes for this advanced classes for what 
you need because Sanjeev is already aware about SEO, so he needs to do the advanced course for SEO. Whereas this is a, we, here we are going to start from beginning, like all the basics. Is digital marketing have more scope than normal marketing after completing MBA? These days, I would say yes, Shivam. It does have more uh, scope because you know every company is coming online now. They have offline uh, offline presence also is there, but online presence has become must. Mostly people are doing shopping by sitting at home only. Okay, what is the difference between advertisement and this? Uh, between uh between advance and this see advance is basically where we are uh, where more we'll tell you about more seo tools which are available which you can use for seo activities here we are going to tell you complete what you are going which what you can do for seo for seo advance there will be more talked about tools or the websites which are available Okay, so after completing my MBA, I have to go for digital marketing or should go for MBA. Uh, see, if in MBA you have a course for digital marketing, that depends, really depends, Shivam, on your interest. Whether you want to pursue your career in digital marketing, see, there is a, there is a scope for everything in the market, but that really depends for, on you also, for, on what you are passionate about. If you are aware about the whole course uh, already, Abhiram, like if you are aware about uh, what uh, PPC is, how you create ads, what SEO is, like on page, off page, uh, then then only you can go for you know advanced level. But to start with, this is the course that you need to look for. Yes. Okay. Guys, any other doubt you have? <laughs> Sorry. Excuse me. Okay, no. Thank you, Pushka. Anyone else? We are going to start a batch from this Monday. And we are going to have a class from Monday, Wednesday and Friday, same time, 8.30. In advance, SEO will be more in the sense. Will be more, yeah, there will be more tools that we are going to tell you about. That's it. Otherwise, here we are going to tell you the complete what SEO is, how you can do SEO for your website. And this will really help you also. Yes. So I'll just uh, repeat, like, uh, Shetaj, are you there? Shetaj, please let me know if you have any doubt. Pushka, you are clear as you wrote. Sanjeev, if you have any doubt, then please let me know. Shivam, hope I'm clear. MJ, MJ, please let me know your full name, MJ. Okay, great, Sanjeev. Thank you. Thank you, Sanjeev.
Uh, yes, everything will be recorded and later on will be shared with you guys. Sure, Sanjeev. Uh, I'll let you know. I'll ask Nisha to get in touch with you. That really depends, Shivam, uh, about like what your website is all about, how many viewership you have, and uh, the content you have. That will really depend. There's not a fixed amount that we can tell you that this is what you're going to earn. No, we are not going to tell you like how much you're going to earn in a month from your website. That will really depend. Yes. Thank you, Pushka. Hope you guys liked it. I really appreciate your time given by you guys for this demo class. Looking forward for you guys to join in and start the session. Thank you. Thank you, everyone. Sure, Sanjeev, definitely will be looking forward and love to teach him too. Not a problem. Thanks, MJ. MJ, please write in your full name. I'm not aware. Thank you. Good night. And for any payment related thing, please get in touch with Nisha or Preeti. Hope you guys have a number already. Manoj Jain. Okay. Thank you, Manoj. Thank you, Abhiram. Thank you, Sanjeev. Thank you, Shivam. And thank you, Pushkar. Shitaj, I haven't heard from you. So if you're there, thank you so much for your time, guys. Have a good night. Thank you. Please get in touch with Nisha or Preeti for further details, guys.